This video will explain how to replace a balloon gastrostomy tube or button tube, i.e. a mini or Mickey tube. Please note that if you work in a ward environment and no gastrostomy pack is available, you will need the following equipment. However, patients in their own home or a care home will receive a gastrostomy pack on their nutrition delivery. The equipment you will be using, an appropriate replacement tube, CE marked PH paper, water for flushing the tube, and a 60 ml enteral NFIT syringe. In addition, the following items will be contained within the gastrostomy pack. Non-sterile gloves and plastic apron, an additional 60 ml enteral NFIT syringe, 5 ml Lurslip syringes, one filled with water for injection, and gauze. You will also need appropriate extension sets, a mini introducer or a stoma measuring device if any of these are required when replacing a button tube. Obtain the patient's consent and cooperation by explaining the procedure and agreeing a signal if the patient wishes the procedure to stop. If the patient is unable to consent, then medical capacity assessment and best interest decisions should be documented. Check the patient has been nil by mouth or nil via their tube for at least two hours, unless you are replacing the tube because the previous one has fallen out. Check that the patient hasn't taken any medication pre the procedure that may A, exacerbate bleeding, so an anticoagulant medication, or B, that will affect their pH levels in the stomach, i.e. lansoprazole or omeprazole. Ensure the patient is lying or in a semi-upright position and is comfortable. Confirm the signal with the patient in case they want the procedure to stop. Review the stoma site, as if infection is suspected, then the procedure may need to be postponed until the infection has been treated and has resolved. Wash your hands for 20 seconds and put on gloves and apron once you have opened the gastrostomy pack. Firstly checking that the condition of the packaging and use by date is correct. Collect the rest of the equipment to be used, check the condition, size of the new tube and use by date of the other equipment. Check the balloon on the new tube by inserting the manufacturer's recommended volume of water for injection into the inflation valve using one of the two lure slip syringes, i.e. the one filled with water for injection from the gastrostomy pack if available. The recommended volume of water will be on the balloon valve. Ensure that there are no leaks in the balloon and that it is symmetrical. Once you are sure that the balloon is working, deflate the balloon. Slide the external retention device of the new balloon gastrostomy tube down the tube and then return it to its original position. 
If the existing tube is still in place, use a 60 mil enteral end fit syringe to test the position of the gastrostomy tube by aspirating gastric fluid and testing that it is 5.5 or below on CE marked pH paper. Remember to wait the recommended time as stated on the pH paper instructions. Loosen the external retention device, lubricate the stoma site, and advance the tube in and out of the tract to check it moves freely. Please note this will only be able to be possible when using a balloon gastrostomy tube. Use a 5 mil lure slip syringe to deflate the balloon of the existing tube by gently drawing back the plunger on the syringe until no more fluid comes out of the balloon. This should be done twice to ensure the balloon is fully deflated. Remove the old tube by using one hand to press gently downwards on the abdomen around the tube and the other to gently pull the tube. Clean the skin around the stoma to remove excess fluid or blood and dry thoroughly. Lubricate the end of the new tube with a small amount of lubricating jelly and insert the tube into the stoma site. Please note if any unexpected resistance is felt or patient experiences acute pain then please stop the procedure and contact the enteral nutrition nurse team or children's community nursing team for advice. Inflate the balloon with appropriate amount of sterile water as per manufacturer's instructions. The recommended volume will be on the balloon valve. Using a clean 60 mil enteral syringe, test the position of the gastrostomy tube by aspirating gastric fluid and test that it is 5.5 or below on CE marked pH paper. Wait the recommended time as stated on the pH paper instructions. Wipe the skin and the tube using gauze. Gently pull the gastrostomy tube back until there is slight resistance from the internal balloon touching the stomach wall. Secure the tube according to the manufacturer's instructions by sliding the external retention disc so that it is at least two millimeters from the skin's surface, but ensuring that it is not too tight or too loose. Ensure the patient is now correctly positioned at a 30 degree angle or more upright and then flush the tube with water. Note if the patient complains of any pain or discomfort, there is any resistance or leakage from the stoma site and take appropriate action. The patient must remain in an upright position for at least one hour after the tube has been flushed. If appropriate, complete documentation recording the tube type and lot number, size and balloon volume. Also document the pH level of aspirate pre and post the procedure and also document the centimetre mark where the external disc is correctly positioned. Please note this will only be done if it is a balloon gastrostomy tube. Ensure the patient has a spare tube and is always available in case of emergency. If you are replacing a button device, i.e. a Mickey or mini button, 
then the process of replacing the tube is the same, but bear in mind that the balloon valve is on the side of the button and that you will need an extension set to connect to the button when aspirating the stomach to check the tube position. Please follow the manufacturer's instructions if an introducer is required when replacing a mini button tube or if a stoma measuring device is being used. Call the Gloucestershire Home Intral Feeding Team, GP Surgery or Community Children's Nursing Team if you have any problems when performing the tube replacement or you need further advice or additional equipment. Thank you.